We are, as regular listeners may know, contractually obliged. The BBC has to cover a certain amount of religion. Religious broadcasting, is a, there's a quota you have to fill. Um, we're happy to join in, of course, and um, I'm very pleased to welcome back to the show uh, our sort of pause, pause for thoughtist, uh, the Reverend uh, Lionel Carping. Good morning. Douglas, I think it's a bit too woofy to do another Sunday. Could, can you get it done for the morning? Oh, Good morning. sorry. Good morning, Reverend. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Good. Do we catch you uh, catch you on the hop there, Reverend? <laughs> We're just sorting things out for tomorrow's service. Of course you are. Now, good, um, good, mo- good sorry. morning, good, John. Good morning. Good morning, Esther. No, not today. Uh, Annabelle morning, today. Annabelle today, Annabelle on the news. Annabelle. Yeah. Good morning, uh, Helen. No. Sarah. No. Where's one, John? Vanessa, Sarah? probably. Vanessa. Well. Yeah. Okay. Phil. And good morning, Phil, of course. Uh, good morning, Ronnie. And good morning to whoever sorts out the invoices. Yeah, specifically that. Uh, that's Will. Uh, good, good morning, morning Gordon. Ev- Gordon, the boss. Good yeah. morning, Gordon. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Right. Yes. So, look, it's good to... Uh, you got my name wrong, John. It's it's not Carping. It is Carping. It's no, it's... Carping. Uh, yes. Yes. No, Actually. I know. Yes, carping, and let's. Uh, okay, now, uh, now, what we have to do here, we have to get this right, don't we? Because what we we, do, we yeah. have to have a little bit of a chat at the top of this feature. Anyone who's ever heard right. one of these pause for thoughts knows how they work. A little bit of a chat at the top of the feature. Um, yeah. Then pretend we're friends. Pretend we're friends, exactly. And then we sort of yeah. we sort of segue, I suppose, into your sort of monologue bit, which at some point uh. it'll sound at the beginning. Like just a story about the news that you've seen this week, something like that. But then somewhere right. in the middle, uh, it, whatever you talk about will be a bit like Jesus, just, won't it? I just surreptitiously slide it in. Yeah. Um, so right, you are. We, is, does this count as the, got it. the banter at the top a bit? Or I don't know how we. Sure. Well, you told me last time that I had to sort of start with a personal anecdote. Yeah. Is or that something, John? <laughs> Well, I guess if you could start with a personal anecdote, but then sort of then get then the news the story news in, somehow. and then by that point people will be slightly on the back foot, and then you, you can bring in the bit about right. Jesus no one wants to hear, uh, right. kind of under the yes. radar, really. Okay. Do you have special training for this as a, as a vicar to go on the radio and and surreptitiously is, ram religion down people's throats? There is a uh, there is a well, you know. There is a college. Yeah. Uh, I didn't attend. I did attend for a couple of weeks right. and I was invited to leave. Um, ecumenical matters. No, we'll come on to that. You personal sorry, story, I wasn't right? li- sorry, I wasn't listening. I went over there. What? John, I was lying down in a bush yesterday in the park. Good. Somewhat overcome by the heat. And I, I noticed that from my bush, I could just about peep out. And and see the 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 local school rugby team, a college right. rugby team, I think. Yes. Uh, and watching those young men, very fit, uh, with their sort of heads lodged between each other's legs like that, John. Fair, yeah. Were they uh, were they scrumming? Were they scrum? Sorry, were they scrumming? They were scrumming hard, and I found myself saying, "Oh God." Is it too soon for the Goddy bit? It's too soon. Yeah, you, right. it's too soon to bring well, God into it yet. Yeah, you've got to... those young men with their heads crushed between each other's legs like that, John. Yeah. Wonderful, fine tradition. Uh, made me think of those boys in Thailand. And how Sorry, they is this... were stuck, weren't they? Yeah, I don't know. Which ones are we talking about? Are we talking about your last... to the news a bit now. No, no, my last trip. No, that was it. That was it. Well, that was it. That was a missionary position. Mm. The, it, it, so we're talking. I did have her. Yeah. Yes. So this is to be clear. This is not. So we've done the personal anecdote, and that's a bit like you're saying it the the Thai boys who were trapped. The Thai boys trapped in that cave. In the cave. Course, and now all for you, which is so wonderful. Yeah. And I've been thinking about those boys almost constantly, John. And thinking right. about, of course, their rescue, which was expedited, John, yeah. due to the monsoon rains. Yes. 
And the waters rose, John. Mm. Mm. And that's... And the men, that... the yes. divers who rescued them, were their sort of passage to safety almost an ark, John? Almost, I suppose, yeah. an ark of sorts. And the sorts? boys, John, they went out two by two. Well, they didn't, before. though, because it was like before. four, and then there was like three, oh, okay. and then there was like one. Oh, okay. Well, okay. On his, on his hurrah, own. hurrah. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you need to be more... I realise you've, you've kind of got the religious, the ark thing in there, the Noah yes. thing. But you probably well, need to... Remembering that we are all born mm. evil, John. Yeah. Uh, Some... Those boys had plenty of time to repent, and yea, they were saved. Or something. Yes. Uh, sorry, and... which bit of it? Sorry, which bit of it's like sorry. Jesus? This out of this. Um, Is it because Jesus well, was in a cave, well, wasn't he? He was in like a tomb and that. Well, he had a long weekend off. Yeah, but I was thinking that just like the ark. Yes. It must have stank in there. Is that a bit like Jesus bank. as well? Is well, Jesus... Because those sandals, I mean, you can sweat into those. He so famously said, Yet let he who does not stink pass the... I don't know. Um, it sort of dwindled yeah, out, I, this anecdote, hasn't it? Yeah. Though? Can I just... Um, I'm, sorry, I'm looking after my nephew, and he's... Just a moment. I'll be with you in a moment, darling. He's playing some sort of handheld thing. Right. He gets a lot of pleasure out of it. Do, do you? Uh... And that's like Jesus, because he. Um. I, I, it's very hard, isn't it? It's it is. It is, isn't it? It is. It, when you hear other people doing it, like on Radio Four or Radio Two and stuff, they make it sound easy. Yeah. This, don't they? But in actual they fact, do. it's really. Hard trying to bring it all back to Kent for a moment, John, because of course that's where we are. Yeah, do you ever look at the Isle of Sheppey and find yourself leaving in hell? I mean, most people in Kent do, I think. Yeah, you do, I think. No, we all think, John, and, and that's you know, Jesus, and that's like Jesus. Do you want to sort of sign Can it I off? Come on to an ecumenical matter. Only if you can do it in about a minute and a half. Well, I can do it in much less than that, John. I was wondering, is it heresy? And perhaps this is one we could toss out to your listeners. Is it heresy to use salt to get the blood of Christ out of your cassock? Well, that is a good question, certainly. Some, some people say, you know, use white blood, white, white wine. But I, I found salt does the job. Right. Um, Do you want to sort of wrap it up now and just sort of end it, sort of? And, and yeah, that's... and God, God's really great. Get in touch with your local church and have a go. Great it's stuff. Free. It's free, and it's a lot better than, than all of the mucky business so many people do. Very good indeed. Thank you, uh, Reverend. It was, of course, a pleasure to... Yeah. Uh, to talk to you. Would you like to sort of say goodbye to everybody as well in the... Goodbye, John. Goodbye, goodbye Reverend. Everybody. Goodbye, the, the other one. And Annabelle. The unhappy one, Annabelle the one, there. Yes, and the needy one. And Vanessa. all the other ones. And all yeah. the business. Yeah. All done. Yeah. Right. Gordon. Uh, Gordon. Yeah. Uh, Bennett. Everyone there. Yeah. Bill, Suki, Beaky, you know, Stuffy, Puffy, all of them. Good. All the business. And God bless you, John. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. And God thank you. Uh, the Reverend. Really nothing left is there. The sponge is dry. Ryan Lionel Carping there. Mm. Talking to us from his parish on Sheppey oh God. in Kent. The rugby players are back. Oh, lovely to have him on. Thank you very much. <laughs>